stayed up late on the night before the day everything came to an end. you're doing this is a private school it's okay miss hayashi let me handle it <clears throat> hey now mr tajima excessive violence is She's dead. No way. That's impossible. He was just... Mr. Tajima, are you all right? Oh, Mr. Tajima, thank God. You had me worried there for... Listen! Listen! 
Listen to me! Just tell me what's going on. There was someone at the school gate. PE teachers went to check it out and something happened. And now those PE teachers are killing each other. What? You forgot something? If what you told me is true, we'll need some weapons, right? Here, Ray. What about you? I've got a black belt in karate. Come on, we gotta get out of the school. Let's call the police. We'll talk to my father. School rules are there to be broken, right? No way. What is it? You may stay on the line or call back again later. Currently, 110 is experiencing an extremely high call volume. You may stay on the line or call back again later. Okay, Currently, busy. 110 is experiencing an extremely possible. high call volume. This announcement is for all the students. An emergency situation is taking place inside the school right now. All students must follow your teacher's instructions and evacuate. I repeat, so they finally a violent incident is taking place inside the school right now. It's happening. Takagi. Shh. Gotta go. Help! 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 ourselves until help arrives and we can see what's going down
Holy shit, it's happening everywhere. But everything was normal. Everything was fine a minute ago. <sighs> <laughs> Smashing their heads in is the only way to get rid of them. There are too many of them. Let's get up there and block the stairs. Let's go. Just a little so why does it look so horrible? So it is just like the movies. They bite you. That's it. This can't be true. What you see in the movies will never happen. But it did happen to everyone else. Takashi, will you help me? Help you with what? the rail straight to the ground from here the impact from the fall should smash my head what are you saying i don't want to be one of them oh, <laughs>
away from him, Ray. No! You can't do that! He's not turning! He's not turning into one of them! He's going to be fine! Get away from him. Look, Takashi! He's getting up! He's getting better! Musashi? What's the matter? Musashi! No way! This can't be true! No way! I know you can't believe it. I can't believe it. Takashi? But it's happening. Don't do it! It's happening! If I didn't do that. I didn't ask you to save me! And how would you know that anyway? What are you, some expert? And I would have been willing to get bitten. But like this! I don't think Asashi would have wanted that for you. How do you know that, Takashi? Oh, I know. I know. You must have hated Asashi, am I right? Because he was dating me! Where do you think you're going? You obviously don't want me around anymore. I'll go downstairs and smash them. What are you talking about? You can't take on that many of them by yourself! Hey, wait. Takashi? Can't be. 
This can't be happening. Can it, Mommy? It's not, right? <laughs> Takagi! Where do you think you're running to? And what exactly was your brilliant plan? I was gonna talk to the teachers in the faculty room and then That's go pointless. What do you think a bunch of stupid teachers can do about it? But Takagi, this is just, it's kind of, because of this, I, I should. I've got a question for you. What is it? Do you want to die or do you want to live? Well, that's, um. That works for them. Right? Then stick with me. <laughs> Do it for me. I want to stay myself. I should let my dad know that I'm all right. Let me use your cell. I understand that he's a police officer. We can't even connect. Secret number that he told me not to call unless it's an emergency. It got through. Dad? Hello? Takashi? Is that you? Ted, listen. Daddy, we're at school and there's been. Hello, Takashi? You must have got this number from Ray. Is Ray okay? Is she with you? Are you both Daddy, all right? What's the matter? Can't you hear me? Listen carefully. The entire city is Dad. in panic mode right now. You need to get out of there. You understand? The city is already in panic mode. You need to evacuate. No service. But I just called him. I don't understand. Ray. Takashi. My dad. He didn't know that it was me at all. He didn't even know me. Takagi, I know it's against school rules, but do you have your cell phone on you? I'm a straight-A student. Besides, even if I had one, who would I call? Well, the police, maybe? God, you're so stupid. Look how serious this is. There's no way people haven't called them already. But yet we haven't heard a single siren. So this is happening all over? Gee, you think? I'm sure the police have been dealing with this already. But look how things are. I wonder if we should call the self-defense force or something. I wouldn't expect much from them. I know that they can't conduct any defense or public security operations without the government's order, but... That's not what I meant. Well, what did you mean exactly? Ugh. They're just like the police. What do you think would happen if people were eating people in all the cities out there? Listen. There are 130 million people. How many of them do you think work for the Self-Defense Force? And what if the same things have been happening inside the Self-Defense Force? <gasps> Come on! We need to go! Uh, okay! Jesus! The only reason I have to stay with this dumbass is because Kamoro isn't here. I am such a nice person. Hold on a second. Let me take all the stuff I can carry. 
Just shut up, you chubby geek. Lock the door so they won't come in. I, I locked it. Are you going to use them as weapons? You're one of those basement shut-ins. One of those military nerds or gun geeks, aren't you? Come on, at least you've seen this thing before. I mean, it was not that Mel Gibson movie. A nail gun. Huh? And it's gas. Hell yeah! We won't be able to carry it around if it was one of those compressor types, right? God, you're fat and stupid. I'm a genius, so I know everything. <gasps> we got an extra tank, and then nails. We're all set. Why are you so calm, cool, and collected? They're coming! They're in the hallway! <laughs> Weighs around four kilograms. It's as heavy as some old assault rifle. But I can't stabilize my aim this way. I need to attach a sight to it. Hey, you! Are you listening to me? Too shabby. I figured the water pressure would be strong enough. 
Don't you remember during the fire drill when we were in junior high, Hisashi and you got... Yeah, I remember. I think it should be... You sure about this? Let's go. supplies we need and meet up with other people who haven't turned yet. Work together and get someplace safe. Sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Now that I know my dad's okay. Oh, we should probably call your house to make sure they're all right too. Waste of time. Nobody's home. My dad won't be back in town till next week. And my mom's a school teacher, so she won't be home until after five. Besides, they get on my nerves. <laughs> well, their parents, that kind of comes with the job. I didn't really mean that. The truth is, I was a little scared. Look at this place. And my mom. She's someplace just like this. when something hits their bodies, the big dumbasses. Their senses are dead, and they only respond to the sound. Most likely they can't see either, otherwise they wouldn't bump into the locker. Well, what about heat? I'm sure we'll get plenty of opportunities to find out. Let's go. So we're... we're going outside? You think we're hanging around here? I kinda... I hate walking. And that's oh. why you're so fat! You need to put down the Walmart Cheetos and exercise! Oh. stronger than they look. Once they grab you, it's hard to get loose. Oh, I'm impressed. <laughs> oh, I hate these stupid floor mats. Jeez. What you're wearing isn't exactly made for running. What? Are you crazy? This is Christian Dior! <sighs> your clothes or your life? Which is more important?
know the school doctor, Marikawa, right? And I'm Saiko Busujima from Class 3A. I'm Takashi Komoro from Class 2B. Miss Busujima, I remember you won the national championship last year. I'm Rei Miyamoto. I'm in the Spear Martial Arts Club. Oh, and I'm, I'm Kota Hirano from Class B, just FYI. <laughs> nice to meet you. <gasps> Why are you guys being all warm and fuzzy? Why are you being so polite to her, Miyamoto? You flunked last year, you're the same age, she's not your elder. What are you talking about, Takagi? Now talk to me like I'm stupid! I'm smarter than all of you combined! You should be lucky I'm even in the same school as you! I'm... I'm... It's okay. That's enough. Just wondering, are you okay? Huh? Huh? You! Wear glasses? <gasps> Shut up! My contact lenses keep on moving around! <sighs> she wears glasses. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Dr. Marikawa, where's the car key? Oh, it's in my purse somewhere. Are you sure your car is big enough to fit all of us? Well, now that I think about it. What about the microbus we use for the club's away games? Hey guys, I see the bus. That's fine, but where are we going? We're going to make sure that our families are okay. We'll start with the family who lives closest from here. If you're worried about your family, we'll bring them with us. After that, we'll look for a safe place and... What's wrong? The wrong, government right? has begun to consider the emergency measures against the outbreaks that have been occurring in locations around the city. However, all the political the parties outbreaks. have been expressing their uncertainty. What do they mean, outbreaks? It's been feared that more than 10,000 have been victimized in Saitama area so far. The governor has already called for the... Already declared the state of emergency and requested the emergency disaster relief. It's a gunshot. It looks like the police are finally using firearms. From what I can see there... No... The government has begun to discuss the emergency measures. However, the mobilization of self-defense forces has been the subject of a frantic... 
10,000 have been victimized in Saitama area so far. The governor has already called and requested the emergency disaster relief. It's a gunshot. It looks like the police are finally using firearms. From what I can see him. Tell us anything else. They're afraid of causing a panic. A panic? Yeah, you idiot. First panic, then chaos. And chaos causes a disruption of order. And then, when order is disrupted... Well, you should just hand it all over to the walking corpses. This unusual and unprecedented biological phenomenon that spread throughout North America has yet to be put under control. Government authorities have evacuated the White House and will relocate to a command center on board the aircraft carrier George Washington. There are reports that the transfer of power is in preparation for the use of tactical warheads to combat the infestation. Beijing has been set ablaze. London has maintained order, while in Paris and Rome there are reports... So they're everywhere. That's crazy. Everything was normal when I checked the internet this morning. All over the world in the matter of a few hours. But they'll stop it, right? I mean, they have to stop it from spreading. I mean, everything is going back to normal soon. That's not gonna happen. Why do you have to be so blunt about it? This is a pandemic. There's nothing we can do. A pandemic? It's the outbreak of infectious disease. The entire world is experiencing the same outbreak. So what? It's some kind of epidemic? This is exactly like the Spanish flu in 1918. More than 600 million people got infected and 50 million people died from it. Remember how much a panic swine flu caused? We'll square that. Not to be disagreeable, but I think this is more like the Black Death from the 14th century. One third of the European population died. You're smarter than you look. So how did the outbreak finally end? Well, there are many theories. It usually stops when too many humans die. There wouldn't be enough people to spread the disease. But now, they'll move and start attacking you. Are you saying that there's no reason for this outbreak to stop? Uh, the weather's going to be hot. They might not be able to move. Their flesh decomposes and they become skeletons. How long does it take for that to happen? In summer, some parts of the body could become skeletal in about 20 days. But it takes considerably longer during winter. A couple months? That's not too terribly long. You're kidding. She's not smarter than she looks. So what are you saying? Medical logic doesn't apply to those dead corpses that move around and attack humans. Worst case scenario, they might never decompose. First thing we find out is if our families are okay. Then we need to find some place safe to hold up for a while. But no matter where we go, we're going to need a plan. Teams, we need to team up. Try to pick up survivors whenever we can. Let's do it. What's the best way out of here? Sorry to break it to you, stupid, but we're gonna just have to go out the front. Let's go. Let me make something necessary. Do whatever you can to avoid a fight, you got it? Remember, they're sensitive to sound, so keep it quiet. And they're strong enough to rip through regular doors. And once they've got a hold on you, they're going to tear you to shreds. So be careful. Ah! Takuzo! Oh, Stay back! Okay, 
We'll be all right. We're getting out of here. Do any of you want to come with us? Sure. Man, there are a bunch of them. From what I can tell, the only thing they react to are sounds. They can't see us, so it's pointless to hide from them. Why don't you go down there and prove that theory? <laughs> but even if we keep going through inside the school, once we get attacked, we're going to be stuck. We have to go and confirm Takagi's theory. Don't suppose you want to volunteer. I'll go. I'll do it. No, you stay. I'll go. I think I should go ahead first. I think you should just stand by, just in case. Takashi! Why? I don't know. You don't know? Seriously, I don't know. I don't. I understand, but you can't interfere with him. This was his decision. So they really can't see me. If that's the case. Oh, 
Who's that? That's Mr. Shido of Class 3A. Shido. We can go now! Wait just a little bit longer. They're in front of us! Any more and we won't be able to drive through here! Run them down. If Dr. Boobs tries to drive over that mini, we'll flip the bus. <clears throat> we don't have to save him! Jesus! What do you mean we don't have to save him? We don't have to help him! We should just leave him here to die! Hurry, everyone! You're going to be all right! Okay, Mr. Shido! But I'm not even sure if we can make it there at this rate. That's it for you, then. <laughs> the world we've known is over. The powerless have no place in a new one. Like I said, it's only dangerous if we keep going. First of all, why do we have to go with Komoro and the others? You guys are the ones who decided to go back to the city. Maybe we should have just looked for a safe place inside the school. If you ask me, we were better off where we were. He's right. I kind of agree with Sonoda. We sh Okay, you all, that's enough. I can't focus on the driving with all this yelling. Yeah. Whatever. How about you tell me what you want to do? I just can't stand this guy. I hate him. Why? What the hell did I ever do to you? I don't even know you. You know? Teamwork. I'm impressed. I commend both of you. At any rate, a conflict like that only proves my point. We need a leader. We do. Surely neither of you want such a difficult responsibility on your shoulders. So, you're gonna run for the position then? I'm a teacher, Miss Takagi, and while mature, all of you are barely in your teens. That alone makes it very clear who's more qualified to assume such a role. I have experience. Why, just moments ago, I saved all of these brave students. <laughs> hmm. There, it's 
been decided. The majority seems to have made the choice quite clear, yes? to act in accordance with all of us. What us? What are you talking about? <gasps> Kamoro! Wait! Get back on the bus. When we get to the city, we'll get off. I don't want you to leave. That's why I told you that you'd regret this! No! We'll both regret this! Okay, you need to punch it. <gasps> what? <gasps> taking this freeway anymore. Okay. I'll turn around and find another way. Okay. We gotta go. There's no other way. Oh, wait. He was wearing a helmet. Huh? Do you even have a license? 
decent? Getting a ticket is the least of our problems. All that time I had no idea that this world was already over. That's so stupid. What do you want? Every time you have to face something you don't like, you come to this stupid staircase. It's like your own little pity corner. That's right. Oh, good Everything God. Everything was normal up until then. I was in the sun, How enjoying the luxury of feeling sorry for myself. If there was a ranking of the most pathetic high schoolers in the world, I'd rank fourth. But at that time, everything was already coming to an end. And none of us ever saw it coming. Mr. Tajima, excessive violence is... Now that I think about it, I should have just forced my way out to the outside no matter what. But we didn't have time to think, so we went to the roof. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time. Ray! <laughs> Sashi says is always right. I wanted to believe that too. But I already knew intuitively that the world that we'd been familiar with was already broken. So... we saw on the rooftop of the school. They can't afford to be rescuing us. And maybe they'll never be able to. Never? Then what are we supposed to do with no kind of help? We'll do whatever we can. That's about it. God, you are so predictable. The glass isn't half empty with you. There is no glass. You've been this way since kindergarten. I only told you the truth. Yeah, well, you don't have to be such a bummer about doing it, you know? Well, let's go. You're right. But no matter where we go, we're going to need a plan. Teams. We need to team up. Let's go. Making moves then meant that we were getting ready to face the real crisis. We ran through the school filled with yelling voices, screams, life and death all mixed together. And then we were outside, and it was more of the same. Just more of it. They're not people anymore. They're not humans anymore. 
since no helmet stolen bike i'm just asking to be arrested aren't i oh what after fighting that many of them don't tell me you're still afraid of the police you've got a point ray wait there's leaking gas from that car don't do it there could be something in there that we could use What's wrong with you? This is Armageddon! Man up! Do you know? 
know how to use it? I've watched enough TV. How hard could it be? And what do they say? Don't aim it unless you plan to shoot. What's the matter? It's just a lot heavier than I thought it'd be. Of course it is. It's the real thing. It can only shoot five times. Takashi. grip on the other gun was broken, but I think that the bullets are still good. They're bloody, but still usable. <laughs> I'm in my whole life. Besides, do you think I'd freak out over a little blood now? Should we get rid of these? No, let's keep them until we can get some target practice. Good point. And don't you feel better now with something that has a little more oomph? I wonder if they still got gas. They say any gas station has a tank that's big enough to hold enough gasoline to fill up a thousand cars, so they should have some. What's the matter? This gas station is self-service. We can't get gas unless we put money or a card in there. Then put it in there. With the money I have, the only thing we're gonna get out of this pump is fumes. You're the worst. I'm sorry, okay? I guess Hisashi would have the cash. Hisashi! You said I'm the worst, didn't you? That means someone is the best, right? You must have meant Hisashi! I didn't then, but I do now. <laughs> what do you want? Money. I need to borrow some. I kinda... I kinda left my wallet in the bag. Uh Oh, Jesus. And you're riding my ass? Just wait here. Scream if something happens. Hello? Is there anybody here? having a field day. <laughs> Come on, Ray. Stop giving the guy such a hard time. Here, you know that? You let her go! <laughs> Why would I do that? You think I'd go over one of those stanky ass zombie bitches? Think again, motherfucker! <laughs> Jesus, man, are you crazy? That it? Crazy? Hell yeah, I am! My family became them right in front of my own eyes! I had to. I had to smash everyone's head. My father! My mother, my grandma and brother, even my little sister, too. How can I be normal? You think I wouldn't be fucked up after that? <laughs> Ray! 
gosh, I like the way you scream. And the way you feel. Quite a handful there. You're fucking her, aren't you? I bet you're sticking it to this hot little bitch day and night. <laughs> Wait a minute. Holy shit, you haven't. You haven't got on this yet? What a fucking pussy, man. Hey, drop the bat. If you don't, I'll kill this slut. And the bike. Give me your fucking bike, man. There's no gas in it. I heard you in the store. Put the cash you got in the slot and pump the motherfucking gas. Go now. You can have the bike. We need to see if give a shit about your parents. They're gonna end up just like my family did, you fucking retard. It's done. <sighs> Away from the bike and start walking. Come on, man. Don't Let's take one more fucking step. I'm begging. Shut up or I'll fucking kill you, motherfucker! I've never shot a gun before, but somehow I don't think I'd miss at this range. The gas! The gasoline! It'd blow us all up! It's better than someone stealing my girl. There's no way it's just nothing. The end. But I've already killed a person. There's no way it's just nothing. Scumbag. He's an actor. He came from Tokonosu for shooting the film. Distance, 4,500. Angle of elevation, minus six. Almost no wind. No need for correction. All right, looks like you've got a green light.
Bravo. Confirming all targets on the runway are now neutralized. Over. <sighs> what are you doing? I've been laying on my boobs all morning. <sighs> you know, I can massage them for you. I'd let you if you were a better sniper than me. Oh, come on. You're one of the top five shooters in the force. What do I rank? Fifteen? Guess you're not feeling them then. So how do you think they got here? I mean, this is an airport on an island. You can only get here by boat. They've been restricting the entry, right? Only important officials. And technicians they need to maintain the airport. And their family members. Someone among them must have gotten infected. It's not that bad right now. But we don't know how long it stays that way. Who knows what would have happened if they wouldn't have had us come along. These guys would have been fucked. Although, it's not like we have an endless supply of bullets or anything. So you're going to run away? No, I'm not. At least not yet. I'm going to the city. Sooner or later. You got a boyfriend or something? I've got a friend there. Exactly! That's why we should secure a safe place first. We lose on our own. Isn't that why you voted a leader? Truly, we should wait until we're ready to act as a disciplined group to confirm the safety of our family members. Going off half cocked on our own. Carano, what? To inevitable Stop! Tragedy. Takagi, morning. Is it time to get up already? Yes, it's morning. Ugh, and you're drooling. Ugh. Sorry. Look at that. I think it's better to evacuate to the suburbs. Cars are not the only way to get out of here. The airport on the ocean, you're right. It's far too dangerous to be anywhere in the city. I bet a bunch of people are trying to escape to some island or some isolated area with some kind of strong military presence or something. Like Okinawa? But the American military that's stationed there isn't there to fight. Oh, but they're self-defense forces. If the military has taken appropriate measures, then I'm betting Hokkaido or Kyushu should be okay, too. If planes are leaving, then all the flights are heading to those areas. So you think maybe we should head that way, too? It's too late! The areas with heavy presence of self-defense for them under control. But I'm sure they've already started to adopt a stern policy toward letting anybody else in. No, sooner or later, it's going to be that way everywhere in the world. I mean, what would you do in the same situation? I'd seclude myself. What would happen if everyone in this world starts thinking that way? What if they start focusing only on keeping their community as small as possible in order to survive? You really ask some very relevant questions, you know that? What are you talking about? Look at him. You can already see that in him. Although I doubt that he knows it himself. You know, this all happened overnight. Should I interrupt them? Forget the pervy teacher and slutty little Sally over there. I should consult with someone that I can trust. Jeez, I could have talked to Komuro if he were here. Yeah, you like Komuro, I know. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous! center for it. Dangerous place to be. Hold on tight. Shooting at us. The whole world 
Everyone's going crazy, Ray. We can't trust anyone. I know, but did you see it? <gasps> At this rate, we don't know when we'll be able to cross. We'll head to Unbetsu Bridge. <laughs> are going to make it out of here alive, it's going to be me, right? <laughs> so, where is everyone's house? The other side of the bridge. The same area with Comoros. Oh, my parents are not in the neighborhood. But I, I'd go anywhere as long as I'm with the Kagi. <laughs> so tell me, Hirano, where's your family? They close? My father is a jewelry merchant, so he's gone to Amsterdam to buy stones. My mother is a fashion designer, so she's been staying in Paris to... Christ, do you expect us to believe all that crap? <laughs> and if it were a manga, Daddy would be the captain of a cruise ship. A giant luxury liner. My grandpa actually was, and my grandmother was a concert violinist. <laughs> Why couldn't he be better looking? So, what are we gonna do? I want to come along with all of you. Are you sure? Both of my parents passed away years ago, and my relatives live far away. I know I shouldn't be saying this, but I... I think Mr. Shido is kind of a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do? I'm not very familiar with this area. We really need to check on Onbetsu Bridge first. We need to work together, otherwise none of us are ever Thanks going to get... Thanks for the offer, but I'm gonna pass, Mr. Shido. We've got our own plans. And FYI, this is no field trip. I have no obligation to be with you. I never had any classes with you anyway. I see. If that's what you've decided, go right ahead. I won't stop you, Takagi. How could I? 
This is a free country, not some sort of iron-fisted dictatorship. <laughs> However, I'm afraid you will have to remain, Miss Marikawa. <sighs> Losing the doctor is a major blow to our current situation. Would you please stay? What do you say? There are students who are relying on you. Shot at me! I missed you on purpose, you douchebag. But you, you're not a violent student like that! How many of my fellow students do you think I killed in school yesterday? And I could kill you too, for all the ways you always made fun of me! I long time! I was holding it back because I just wanted to have a normal life! But there's no need to do that anymore! <sighs> Nothing we know is normal anymore. That's why I'm able to kill now. I can even kill living people, too. Maybe start by the ones who made fun of me. I made fun? You misunderstood. I've always held you in such high esteem. <laughs> if you want to go, now's the time to do it. I'll make sure he doesn't stop you. Hmm. You're such a man. I'm impressed. Try a different bridge or something? I'm sure they're all the same. Probably every bridge is blocked. What's the point of policing unless they block them? Damn it. We need to cross the bridge and get to the East Police Station by 7. How? That's a little easier said than done. Give me a sec. I'm thinking. I wish... So there's no use bringing it up. <laughs> Gunshot! No, it... that was a... Um, hey, maybe we were better staying on the bus with Mr. Shido. Just throwing that out there. Hold on, weren't you the one who said that you thought he was a douchebag? As a matter of fact, I did. But he wouldn't be the first douchebag I was stuck on a bus with. Just to let you know, I'm running out of the nails! <laughs> Do you want to borrow this? I really don't do hand-to-hand -hand combat. I can't say the same. I'm actually quite fond of it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute! Are you nuts? Tokonosu Bridge is also blocked. Right. There's no way out. I have to confess, I'm really glad you're okay, Kamuro. Glad you're alright, too. What about me? Uh, I'm glad you're okay, too. All of you. What are you doing? Kamuro! 
What is this? It's an M37 air weight that the police uh, use, right? I'll tell you oh, about man, it later. I feel the weight. How good it feels. We got off the bus because the road was blocked, but we haven't been able to cross the river. The water has risen, so going farther upstream won't help, I guess. Then what should we do? I have a thought. It's been such a stressful day. Why don't we just call it quits for now? C call it a day? Why, yes. My friend's flat is nearby. It's just a short walk from here. Your boyfriend's place? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like that. It's just my girlfriend's apartment. She's always busy working and traveling with her job. She gave me a key so I could go there and look after the place when she's away. Have a nice day! Is it a high rise? Does it have a good view of the surroundings? Oh, yeah. It's a duplex standing along the river. There's a convenience store nearby, too. Oh, and a car! You know that one that looks like a tank? The thing that drinks gas? Big! The really big one! I don't care about a car as much as a shower. I don't think I've ever felt dirtier in my life. I couldn't agree with you more. No! What do you mean by that? I'll go check on it with her. Okay. talking about the motorcycle, aren't you? What? What did you say? Humvee! It's the military model, too! Told you. It looks like a tank, right? Exactly what kind of friend is she? I bet they can't jump over the fence. So we should be able to have a good night's sleep. Let's hurry up and... this work? Yeah, good enough. Stay back. Don't take chances and be sure to cover for each other. Let's go! Looking back on it, it seemed like that's when we all changed. We weren't just running away anymore. We were attacking first to survive. We didn't question it. It just became instinct. And it became the only thing we knew. Wow, yours are really big. I get this and you got it. Stop trying to die. man their hunger it never
They just swarm around like bugs looking for the light. And for us. We need to stay in the dark. We're not capable of saving all the live ones out there. Here. Uh. Take a good look out there. And you better get used to it. I'm afraid just being manly is no longer good enough to survive anymore. I thought that out of any of us, you'd look at things a little differently. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not being cruel. I'm sorry, Kamuro, but this is just the way things are now. I'm not saying that I like it. Uh, try to keep it down when you check out there, will ya? It's all gone to hell. Daddy, where's Mommy? We'll meet up with Mommy later. Come on, this way. Please let us in. I've got a child and we have no way to evacuate. Please let us in. me but my little girl let her in <laughs> open the door if you don't i swear to god i'll break it down daddy god damn it do it I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. That's what you ugly deadbeats get for trying to go after a little girl like that. You want something to eat, how about you munch on some of these? You said you weren't going to shoot. 
that you didn't want to make noise, so we wouldn't attract any attention. But it's a little girl we're talking about! You go get her, and I'll cover you from up here. Be right back. Takashi. There's a little girl who needs us now. That, that I'm coming with you, to help. No, stay in the foyer and be on the lookout. I'll go there on the bike, I'll be fine. By bike, but you... Let him go. It's a man's decision, after all. I'll be back as soon as, as soon as I can. Wish me luck. You go knock him dead, cowboy. Don't worry about this place or the girls. I'll hold down the fort. Takashi, mm. take this at least. Don't count on the gun too much. If you shoot, they'll swarm around you. Either way, the bike will make noise. But on the bike, you'll be moving. Fire a shot, it'll be like ringing the dinner bell. You ready? Just fine. Thanks a lot, kid. You just saved my ass. Woo! Hirano! Takaki? Oh, yeah! I'm getting ready to get out of here. There's no way we can stay here after all this goddamn noise. I want you to pack up and be ready to go. Got it? Oh, okay! Miyamoto, let Miss Busajima handle it and give me a hand. How about you take a look in that backpack and find some clothes to put on? Uh, no wonder I was feeling cold. Psycho, get it. 
while the zombie contingent is out there after Kamuro. <sighs> what are we gonna do about that? At that rate, he won't be able to come back even with the bike. If so, we have no choice but to go get him. died trying to protect you. Your father was a brave man. while we're loading. We just got to do it really quietly like the bandits online. Let's do it that way then. You just think of something else. Think about playing or what's your favorite TV show. Uh, what no, about? No, I can't. I I can't hold it anymore. Okay then, just go ahead and pee right there. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, there are so many! It 
doesn't matter. We can't just turn back now. Run him down! Hang on just a little bit longer. Takashi! Hurry up! Easier said than done! Hirano, buy some time! Somehow, we managed to get out of there. But that only... There's no way I would have known. How could any of us have known? <gasps> Shit! Aim for the head! Who did it? Who let them on the plane? Oh, Jesus, they bit the first lady! Mr. President, you have to enter the code. I can't. You and I have been bitten. You've got to listen to me. There's not a country on this planet that's going to let us land Air Force One on their soil. That's why we have to attack those countries who use intercontinental ballistic missiles against the U.S. while we still can. Activate 666 Delta Protocol. It's the only way for you to fulfill protect the American people from foreign threat. <laughs> Ah, that hurt. Must 
must be nice. What are you talking about? <laughs> ah! What? Uh, uh, mm? Oh, psycho. Uh, Good morning. You're drooling. Uh, oh. <gasps> Let's get out. Mm. Why? Well, the should get dressed. Kamuro, give me a hand. I'll let Erisu down. Uh, don't look. Don't look. Hmm? My, my underwear. Uh, don't be so insensitive. Uh, We're going to get dressed too, so don't you dare look. <laughs> so you're saying that girl is who? You? Don't you know anything? Arisu Morisato. Her father is that newspaper reporter. He was a newspaper reporter. Where's her mother? She said that her father told her she'd see her later. <gasps> huh? I brought my girlfriend's clothes, so pick the ones you like. Hey, can I wear this jacket? Sure. Is this the only skirt you've got? <laughs> Pretty sexy, huh? Well, tomorrow, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. I told you, I don't want to die just yet. <laughs> You're a spunky little guy, aren't you? But don't bark too much, Zero. Zero? Yeah, like the plane. You know, the Ryzen. The one used when we got our asses handed to us during the Pacific War. Ryzen? Oh, you mean the Zero Fighter. <laughs> Here, use this, Kamuro. It's a shotgun, so all you have to do is aim around their heads. You'll hit them. But like I said, I don't know how to use it. A baseball bat is better for me. Uh, they're cartridges. The shells are basically a casing filled with little pellets. You only have to adjust the sight, find your target, then pull the trigger. You can blast their heads off with this. Trust me, even a gun moron like you can pull this off. What do I do when there are no more bullets left? When that happens, open this gate, so you load more like this. It's really easy. You can only load four bullets and have one in the cartridge chamber, so keep that in mind. There's another really cool feature with this gun, one of my favorites. I get confused if you tell me too many things at once. But I should warn you, the recoil is pretty powerful. This baby bucks. In the worst case scenario, I'll just use it as a club. You are so hopeless. I know. Takashi! Huh? <gasps> what do they want? <laughs> problem? No, you look good with it. But can you shoot it? I'll ask Hiro. Oh, I'd be delighted to teach you. Perhaps you've noticed the standard issue bayonet? We're gonna bring up the Humvee. And you two, cover us. Yes, ma'am! <laughs> Clear. Okay. Miss Suzuka? Here we go! They're at patrol! Ah! <laughs> All these zombies and I'm gonna get killed by an Asian woman driver! I guess the river didn't stop them, huh? I don't know why any of us thought it would be any different on the other side. But if the police are still on the job, then maybe... Yeah, you're right. And maybe curbside recycling is still happening, too. Yeah. Wait, but what are we going to do now? Your house is in the second block of the Higashi Saka district. That's right. Then that's the closest one. Looks like we go to your house first. But they... I mean, you know. I know. I'm not expecting anything. But still... It'll be... Motorcycles. They sell imported buggies and stuff like that. Sometimes military equipment, too. Really? Sometimes military equipment, too. What's the matter? I don't see any choppers or planes, but there were a hell of a lot of them yesterday. It's 
going to be okay, right? Uh, yeah. Probably. Look on the bright side. What bright side? Haven't you noticed? We haven't seen a single one of them since this morning. Uh, you're right. chest and fire awesome oh man they're way too heavy. after the shot take the aim on the target and pull the side shift the muzzle just a tiny bit cool fucking a oh out of bullets oh, shit damn it kamaro Go get her, I'll cover you, but you better move like you got a fucking purpose. You can't. There are way too many of them to fight with a wooden sword. Just get the girl.
Forest! God damn it! God damn it! The magazine is... Somebody hand me a Night's Make magazine! Code? Like this! Okay. Can't do it alone. Jump over the fence to get to the other side. But what about everybody else? We're coming right after. Daddy gave me the same look that you just gave me when he died. He said it was okay, but he still died. No way! No way! I don't want to be alone! I'm gonna stay with you! Takashi and all the girls! I'm gonna stay with you guys forever! No! Don't let me be alone!
was I going to do, leave her to die? Mommy! <laughs> That's Takagi's mother? Fucking A, we're saved! Not quite. I have a hard time believing more help is really on the way. Well, then we go to them. Come on, I know this area. Takashi. Koda. It's okay now. And don't worry about Kamuro and Psycho. They're gonna be just fine. sounds strange, but even in the middle of all that hell, I felt great, empowered somehow. We seemed invincible. I know this area. I'll be waiting! Come to my house on the hill! Damn it, this place too? It doesn't look like we can make it to the second block. Let's go back the way we came. We didn't run into any of them on the way here. I can see Takagi's house from here. Are you ready to walk on the fence again? <laughs> no way. <sighs> Man, if I only had a bike. Huh. Check it out. I'll pick our ride. You get what you think we need. That's fine. But tandem... what I'm talking about. Did I ever tell you how much I like your taste? <laughs> Things are about to get interesting. Yeah, you got that right. I don't suppose you have a plan. Feel like sharing it with me? I do, but... You do, but what? It might get a little too interesting. <laughs> Don't worry. What you give me, I can handle. Hold on tight! <laughs> they can use the stairs, but can't walk on the slope? Appears so. But their recovery's flawless. It's not going to matter at all. Because if that's the case... What the hell? What are you doing? This thing's amphibious. Amphibious? <gasps> oh shit! Sorry, Psycho! You okay? Oh, 
come on now. Don't tell me that took it all out of you. What? What do you mean? No, I, I swear I'm good to go. Maybe you should use your bedroom voice. to use the sandbar you know when i was a kid i was told over and over again never to play here because the water is too deep and the current was too strong well whether it worked out as you planned or not it's nice to have a break yeah let's take turns and watch out for him i'll watch first you go ahead and take a break psycho uh excuse me i'm freezing my ass off here yeah, sorry about that. Here, wear this for now. Thank you. I'm done. Mm? What's wrong? Don't you like it? No, not at all. Just the opposite, actually. <laughs> Fucking with you. You're what? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry. No reason to apologize. Let me ask you, have you ever had a boyfriend or something? Excuse me? Uh, I'm just trying to make conversation. Uh, I mean, someone like you, maybe. Crush, at least? Of course I have. I almost thought it was love. I guess it's okay now. Looks like most of them are gone. Oh, yeah. Now I see more. Seems that you and I get more popular by the minute. We'll find out after turning the next corner. A park? Oh, come on. Ugh. Jesus Christ! Do you actually enjoy getting me wet or something? Just give me the tape from the backpack. exit, it'll put us right behind Takagi's house. I'd rather not use the gun because the sound echoes, but you never know. All right, then. We'll do this! Hold it. God, you reek. I know you're dead, but is a little hygiene too much to ask? That's enough holding back. Holy shit, she's a maniac.
Come on. Hurry up! Psycho, tell me what happened back there. It's too dangerous for us to be out at night. Whoa, this is real. Psycho, look at this. Come here and have a seat. Your uniform is dry, too. What a relief. Look what I found, Psycho. Huh? What do you mean, found what? Want to know what? Here it is. Hmm. It's some kind of porta potty. You can have it. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? I figured you'd find it quite handy, so... No, you're right. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. So you're not going to ask? For you to act that way, I guess it was something very serious. If you don't mind, I just want to talk about it. You brought it up after all. I started thinking about it. The fear. Because you saw the little kids? Is that it? To tell you the truth, it wasn't about them at all. At the sandbar, if I've ever had a crush on someone. Oh yeah, about that. I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, hasn't everyone? Can't get this far without having a crush. On someone. I've never told them how I felt. I just don't think I have the right to. But I think you can get anyone you want. Even though I almost killed someone. Four years ago, I was attacked on the street at night. I had a practice sword with me. I started hitting him, and once I started, I didn't stop. I, I couldn't stop. It was, he was. After I told the police what happened, they gave me a ride home in the police car. But it was just self-defense. It might have started out that way, but to be honest, I enjoyed it. Just letting the rage out against someone that was nothing but joy. When I realized so calm and I pretended I was terrified and then when I had him I fought back. I fought until there was nothing but blood and bones. It was bliss. Absolute, total bliss.
pleasure. That's me! Me! That's who I am! Can't you see? The feeling of power, of control over someone else's life. I loved it. Does anyone like that deserve love? But ever since this has happened, I've felt that way too! You became that way after this happened. But I was like that before. Don't say that. Nothing about me has changed. I realized that in front of the fountain. Almost feels like it's gotten worse. get to the street from the back. We should be able to get to Takagi's house in about 20 minutes by foot. Why are they here? We didn't make any noise? God damn it. I don't understand. Psycho, I say we make a run for it. Psycho! on me now. You got it? We've come too far. There's no way we're giving up. To die like this? Have these dead motherfuckers take us down here? It's because whether you like it or not, I need you! Maybe that son of a bitch deserved to die. Who knows? I don't give a shit what you did before. I just care about what you do now! Psycho, this way. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? Huh? You meant what you said, right? Why are we in the back? I have a feeling they'd come through the back if they wanted to sneak in.
Kakashi. Ray. Ready or not, here I come. Don't let her escape, Komuro. Uh, okay. It's gonna hurt! A little. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's for your own good. No. <laughs> oh. One day it passed since Saiko and I made it to Takagi's house. And I have to say that this was the first ordinary time I've had since this whole awful ordeal began. And it was kind of hot. Mm, that was my special formula. You traitor! What? Why? I only held you down while she rubbed your back. That's not what I meant. <laughs> then what was it? Can't you guess? Guess? Guess what? Guess not. All I need is just a little bit of medicine on me. You don't need to call in the school nurse. Huh? Get out of here. What is it all of a sudden? <laughs> My boobs are killing me because you use them to balance an AK-47! Now get out! <sighs> Whatever, she loved it. You idiot! You're walking too fast! Let me help you. No. Big boys. The big boys? Just go relax, pretty boy. What's their problem? Don't worry about it too much. Huh? <gasps> What's the matter? Oh, it, it just... It looks good on you. Really good. Really good. Ah, uh, uh, I mean, I didn't mean it in a weird way. It's cool, I got it. I didn't take it that way. <laughs> hey, what is it? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Did something happen? Uh, we were just saying that we're so glad that you're okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm more than okay. Looks like we all are now. <laughs> Fine! You're always right! Always! Or were. What's the matter with you? You don't have to ask like such a prick. I'm sorry. What's the matter with you? Maybe prick was the wrong word. I should- I don't want to talk about it. Just drop it. Leave me alone. Hey, Takaka- uh I said I don't want to talk about it! What is the matter? Sorry to draw you into our little discussion. No, it's okay. I guess you're used to it. You've known each other since kindergarten. Yeah, some things never change. Your house is really beautiful, by the way. I'd always heard about it, but I never thought I'd ever see inside of it. Come to think of it, you've never been to my house before, have you? No, never. You weren't afraid of coming here, were you? A little intimidated, yeah. I'm sorry. You're honest, I like that. But I heard that you don't stay here long. No. This is the carrier spring ejector. <laughs> you look like you're having fun. Uh. I just want to let you know you should enjoy it while you can. None of us are going to be here forever. Why not, Takagi? This house is almost like a fortress. Haven't you thought about how hard it is to secure things like electricity? Oh, um, well... Even under normal circumstances, which we're not, we'd have to find basic necessities. You think we could all just build a water treatment plant? Or a power station? Maybe the zombies would help us do it. When the dead started attacking people, the commander sent the self-defense forces to the power plants at his own discretion. He's not the kind of man to sit around and wait on the Prime Minister's incompetency. If that's the case, maybe they'll keep things working a little longer. So optimistic. How much longer do you think those maintenance workers will stay there? They have families too, don't they? And their family members aren't at the power plant. So... You plan on taking the buses and... Correct. But only the ones we're responsible for. Or rather, 
We'll only be taking the ones that can survive outside of this place. Starwinian. Hey, hey! Huh? Hold on, that's a real gun, isn't it? A kid like you shouldn't be playing with it. I'm sorry, sir. Mr. Maddow, is that <sighs> all you've got to say? Oh, Lady Saya. Um, I was just going to let you know that we finished the tune-up on the car. The Humvee you came here in? Thank you. That'll be all. <laughs> Deej's family? Wow! As a matter of fact, I do. Like that matters now. And why would you let him talk to you like that? Well, because he's an adult. You think that means anything? We've been through just as much as they have. More. I'm sick of how they're treating us. <sighs> we better talk to Komoro and the others about this lack of equity. I want her to understand me. But no matter what I say, she won't listen. Maybe you could talk to her? She thinks that I can convince Takagi. I've never been able to convince her of anything in my whole life. I don't see a reason why everyone has to gather around here. You can barely move. What else can we do? I'm sorry, but what are we talking about again? Whether we can continue to move forward as a group or not. As a group? It's a good point. The group's bigger now. We might have to think more democratically since there are more of us than there were before. It's only fair. Right. We have only two options. Whether we're... But wait. Do you really think we have to split from the group? Things are only getting worse in the city. And your father seems to know what he's doing. And your mother, too. They have a plan. Oh, don't they always? No one knows more than I do. Huh? Her achievements. Don't think she won't shove them right in your face. Maybe if she would have been as dedicated at home as she was... Takagi. God, she's such a bitch. You shouldn't talk bad about your parents. Considering the situation we're in, it's been really tough for everyone. Did I ask you to weigh in on my family life? Huh? Takagi. The Takagis. How fabulous their life must be. Everything had to be just perfect. The house, and the lawn, and the parties, and most of all, their daughter. It was positively suffocating. They wanted to know where I was and what I was doing every minute of the day. The leash they kept me on. That's enough. No, it was never enough. But where was that leash yesterday? When I was out there lost in the streets fighting for my life, where the hell were they then? Stop it, Saya! <laughs> Just you. We all feel the same way. We all feel the same way. Don't you know how lucky you are? At least your parents are safe. So quit whining. Tsutaro Doi. He's the former retainer of the family who had served the Takagi family. He is also my best friend. 
today. During the rescue operation in effort to save his associates, he was bitten. This is the ultimate case of self-sacrifice. What he did was something noble, something any human being could do. However, he is no longer a human. He's become something extremely dangerous. That's why, as a man of the Takagi family, I shall fulfill my obligation to the retainer. we're facing and so even if they're your wonderful friends beloved family members and people you once loved you must defeat them without hesitation if you want to survive you must fight What's the matter, Hirano? You don't look so well. Swords are incredibly inefficient. What are you talking about? I said they're inefficient! A Japanese sword can break if it hits bone. It's useless after slicing three or four people! You can't say that for sure, Hirano. Even in the way of the sword, numbers determine your strength. The swordsman's technique, the quality of his sword, his mental strength. If these three elements are at high levels, you won't lose your fighting strength, no matter how many people you have to fight against. Possible that- Hey, Hirano, that's enough. Don't touch me! And don't interrupt me! You can't even shoot a gun properly! Hirano, you need to back off! Hirano! One big happy family. Takashi! Uh. What's wrong? Did you have a fight with Koda? No, he and I just... Yeah, I guess I did. Okay then, I'll tell you something good. What? You need to talk to him again. You just need to talk to Koda some more, and then you guys can figure out what's wrong. So, you think I can? Sure you can! After everything that's happened before we got here, you two can have a fight now. Huh. After everything that's happened. You both have been too close to be mad. I'll tell him you want to talk. <laughs> Come on, Zero! Huh. Mutiny on the Bounty. I was in eighth grade. It was right before the holiday weekend in the spring. My homeroom teacher was to us. It was the last class before the holiday. In 1788, after a rough voyage, a British military ship named Bounty reached the island of Tahiti, the paradise in the South Pacific Ocean. The ship left Tahiti after spending about six months there. Within a month after that, a mutiny broke out. After months in paradise, the crew couldn't take the life they once knew on the Bounty. Our teacher made the comparison of the holiday weekend to Tahiti and us to the crew of the Bounty. I didn't understand what he was talking about then. I didn't care. None of us did. All makes sense to me now. Takashi! <laughs> Hurry up and come with me, Koda! Koda is in big trouble! We have to go to him now! Where the hell did he go? Geez, he moves pretty fast for a fat ass. Huh? These German koi are simply beautiful. You don't get to see this just anywhere. 
It's quite a need of a part-time job at PetSmart. You sound like you have it all figured out. I'm good at a lot of things. But how would you know what I sound like? That guy won't do it! Give me a break! Hand it over, fat boy! Come on. You know what's going on out there. You really shouldn't keep a weapon like that all to yourself. You should give it to someone who- I said no! I'm borrowing these from someone! Besides, no one here can use any of these weapons better than I can! <laughs> I don't mean to rain on your parade, my little Miss Life Aquatic. But you have realized what's happened. That there are no more koi ponds and kindo tournaments. Things have changed. Those days are over. That's right. The world that we once enjoyed, that world is long gone. Go ahead. <laughs> you know what to do. We don't have time for this kid's whining. Carano. So tell me, you still have something to get off your chest, do you? Are we going to stay here with them? Or go out on our own? What the hell is all this? Master! He's just a kid, sir. He, he doesn't have any business with these guns. I'm Soichiro Takaki, former Lord of Tokonosu, the master of Tindo Sogunru. What is your name, young man? <laughs> Jimmy Academy! I'm in class 2B, roster number 32! Something tells me that you have spirit. I'm quite sure that you went through a lot before you made it all the way here. I take it you don't intend to hand over your weapon? No, no sir! I don't want to! Without the gun, I'm going right back to the way I was before! Don't make fun of me again! I don't want to go back there! I finally figured out what I could do! What exactly can you do? Tell me! <laughs> well, I can... I can... I can... He can protect your daughter, sir. <gasps> Bro. Kimura. Interesting. Yes, that name sounds familiar to me. You were friends with my daughter since she was little, were you not? Yes, sir. Still am. But Hirano has been the one who's been protecting her. We've all been working together, sir. He keeps the guns. Uh. <laughs> I'll have you know I've seen his bravery with my own eyes. Me too, Daddy. He's just a loser military otaku. Without him, I would have been one of those zombies by now, Daddy. That's right. He's the one who's been protecting me. He did your job. Takagi, thank you. This tainted world. However, that's not the case with you. Uh, you who are still young are unspoiled and untainted. Uh, You're the angels that bear the new world. And of course, I'm just a blemished adult who's nothing like you. I've sinned, lived in such darkness. I... I'm hoping to cleanse all the sins that I've committed by being with you. Everyone, please show me the way. And let me see the new world that lies behind this chaos. Your tender touch can redeem me. Help me, Mr. Shido. Let me in. I'll never talk back to you again. Please help me. Now, no, let me in. Let's put our hearts together. How many times do I have to tell you this to get you to understand? Killing pandemic? That's complete bullshit. The government.
government is using it as an excuse for failing to figure out why dead bodies have been attacking people. You're saying you believe all these people are actually dead? Don't be ridiculous. It has to be some kind of disease. Some kind of infection. That's right. There's no way this could be happening without a reason. Well, of course there's a reason. But none of us around here are going to find it out. Unless by some chance you're a Pulitzer Prize winning research scientist with access to a lab. And even if you are, you it? Well, that's just... We have to concentrate on surviving, that's all. Try not to get eaten. I can't believe this mob incompetence. Did you not listen to a word my father said? <laughs> That's the point you really want to make, isn't it? I was wondering why high school kids were flashing guns like they were cops, but... Huh? After all, that's what you're after. You're just saying you're going to protect us. People out here are trying to control us with violence. Violence! How dare you when there are so many people suffering in other Asian countries? What the hell does global suffering have to do with it? Just you listen to me, everybody. The one who's telling us to be murderers, no, who's forcing us to be murderers, is that man's daughter who says yes to killing. I'm sorry, but what the hell are you talking about, lady? You're just a bunch of kids. Shut up. Fuck you, asshole. We have just as much say as you do in this bullshit. Nonsense. Adults are making decisions from now on. Not those pigs of exploited classes or some high school kids. Who are intoxicated by their violent power. That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah! We absolutely repudiate violent dominance! We repudiate! Really good job, Takagi. She's a Nazi. I talked to her only because she was talking bad about my father, but it was pointless. Are they crazy? Have they seen what's happening out there? That crowd doesn't see anything. I don't know. I can kind of understand how they feel. Are you trying to pick a fight with me, you fat ass? Wait, wait! That's not what I'm doing! You know, people have a tendency to ignore what they don't want to see. No one wants to be denied. That's why most of the people wouldn't do anything even though they know something is happening. It's just human nature. You can't deny the fact that there's a shift happening in this de facto survivor colony. Well, yeah, but I... I think that in that kind of situation, most people... Their first reaction is to deny it. Ignore it. They don't face reality because it's too much for them to handle. Understand? If they don't admit to the change, then they don't have to admit their mistakes or idiocy. Well, of course. Ignoring our mistakes and humiliations, how do you think we get through high school? Hmm. Very breakfast club of you, chubby. I see. See what? Well, that was it. Mm-hmm. What? What is it? You don't do that. What are you talking about? This is embarrassing, but I'm still admitting to it. See? Don't you think this makes him the one? Right. Takashi's kind of different. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Don't you see? You're the obvious choice. If any of us, you're the one who should be our leader. What? <laughs> what do you think it is? I've heard the rumor that Master Busujima believes his daughter is the sword user. And that the daughter is every bit as skilled as Sanako Chiba. Pure and graceful. That daughter must be you. Go ahead, touch it. You will not stain its power. What is this? This is an extremely rare sword. Do you see it? It's only slightly curved. This is a double-edged Kasaki Moroha. Shoju Kanamasa. Impressive. I was right. It was the Meiji era. Major General Murata, known for the Murata rifle, had it forged at Tokyo Artillery Factory. Supposedly, he slashed a pig's skull in two, but it didn't leave a single scratch on the blade. It was the width of the blade. Now it is yours. Sir, I must say with all due respect, 
I can't accept it without a legitimate reason. I've once received the training from Master Busujima. Will you accept it? As a token of my gratitude for that. Then I think it'd be best for you to give it to my father yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I would expect nothing less from the Master's daughter. You're strikingly honest. Please forgive me. I meant no disrespect to you, Master. I'm sure you know this, but my daughter has much to learn. Maybe so, sir. And it is true that I did save her life at one point. But she was my salvation in some ways as well. If you really want to ensure that your daughter is protected at all costs, why would you not simply keep her by your side? The daughter of the Takagi family has the heart deeply. They say that parents and children are alike? Or instead of me, perhaps you could... Uh... Give it to Takashi. He's quite deserving. I've known him ever since he was little. He's grown to be a fine young man, and how much you appear to trust him proves my appraisal is correct. However, to me he appears to be still hesitating. This new world has no place for a leader who tends towards hesitation. I know they say I'm the leader, but... Aren't you? Ray, are you okay? You're gonna mess your back up even more if you push it. We've all been relying on you. We were brave. Even at the school, too. And other times also. You're natural. Are you kidding? I was just desperate. I wasn't trying to be a leader. And the stronger fighters we had were Psycho and Hirano. And you, too. And Saya. She's the smart one. Miss Shizuka is a doctor. And Arisu is... And she is... <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Takashi. What? I'll tell you one of the girl's rules. like cute boys and the boys who are sweet to us. Is that all? Yep, that's all. How can anything else be important other than that? I'm not either of them. Maybe you weren't before. Yeah, I admit it. But you're different now. You might come off as so despondent, even hopeless. But when it comes down to it, you're always up for a fight. Maybe you think it's something involuntary, that you don't have a choice, but I think you're a fighter. Maybe you weren't always that way, but I believe you're that way now. I didn't really see it before. I made a terrible mistake. I shouldn't have hurt you. I should never have broken up with you. <sighs> I love you. And I understand if you don't begin, I swear it! <laughs> What's the matter? I don't know if I should kiss you right now or smack the hell out of you. And I don't know if you're being honest. I don't know how else to be with you right now. I'm sorry. I know it hurts. You should lie down. You don't know how much it hurts. But then again, I don't think you ever did. I thought someone was in there, so I just waited. I didn't hear any voices. Go ahead, he's all yours, Miss Busuchima. Maybe talking to you will make him happy. Understood. By the way... Yes, what is it? I would really appreciate your actions. Don't bring that up! That 
That's the last thing I want to think about. Or survivors. Please! Please help us! We came from the school, but there's no place we could go! You've got to help us! Uh, you can't just turn us away! All right, fine. Just give me a minute. Let me with the barricade right now. <sighs> Find your family no matter what? That's right. My father lives far away, so I can only pray that he's safe. As for my mother, she was teaching in the doku about the time all this hell started, so I have a shot at finding her. Ray's, I mean, Miyamoto's father is a cop. So I can find out what's going on if I go to the East Police Department. Her mother should be at her house. And? What are your plans after you find her? The day after tomorrow, we're going to leave here early of us to remain in the metro areas. Don't worry. I'll go find everyone and be back by that time. Mm. I'm sorry. I can't guarantee that I would take them in. Fine, then. Let's play it this way. If I don't get back here by the time you need to leave, leave me. It means I've decided to stay with Mom, or something happened. I want you to take me with you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you really need attention that bad? Hmm? Uh, the outfit. Oh, so psycho. It, it looks really great on you. But don't you think you should stay here with the others? I think I can be of help. Besides, you're going to need some people to lead them. How will the family find their way back? <gasps> yeah, that's true, but... What? Ray? Ray, come back! I have to say, I never thought I'd be helping someone like the son of Representative Shido at a time like this. Too bad now isn't the time to be planning for his re-election campaign. That's all right, sir. Need I remind you? Right now, I'm just a simple teacher. <laughs> I'm impressed. But you saved about a dozen kids. Of course, that's my duty as a teacher. If your father knew what you were doing, I'm sure he'd be very proud. <sighs> really? You don't say. To most people, my father is a congressional representative. To me, he was just a tyrant. He made my mother suffer and drove her to kill herself. And even to me, who's abandoned the family and chosen to become an educator. There's this annoying man in the public safety office in Tokonosu. Supposedly, his daughter goes to the school where you work. Here's what I would like you to do. Make her repeat the grade. That'll teach him a lesson. Will you please at least help my students? I don't care about my own well-being at all. How admirable. <gasps> Mr. Shido. Miss, Miss Miyamoto. Thank goodness you're all right. Do you know why I'm good at handling the spear? Because I've learned the bayonet, too. By my father, who's never lost a competition in his life. To think how you made my father suffer. The man who had never... He said I had to repeat the grade because of him. But I know that only you can control the student's grades. But I held my temper. Because he told me that he'd be able to arrest you and your father if his investigation went smoothly. But now... You pay. Uh, are you going to commit murder? You're a policeman's daughter, for God's sake. You don't want to become a criminal, do you? I don't want to hear that from you! Then you should kill him. Once I had an association with this man's father. But now that means nothing. If you wish, kill him. <coughs> Let me go! She has to make this decision for herself. Go ahead and kill me. I welcome it. 
Just know that when you do, you'll be haunted by this violent act of vengeance as long as you live. And having you learn that is the best lesson that I could teach you as your instructor. Do not fail this test. Certain this is your decision. He's not even worth killing. <laughs> Get out of here and take your students. The ones who have already been infected by your evil. Control tower right away. I confirm the order. All right, then, if you confirmed it, number one. This is your captain. The executive order from Air Force One has just been confirmed. Romeo and Charlie, man your stations. I wonder who's president. They say everyone's been bitten and has already turned. I bet they're already down to the energy secretary by now. Homeland Security Secretary was the president day before yesterday. But he was already bitten at that point. God damn it! No one knows. No one knows what's gonna happen anymore. World's gone to hell, Captain. This is it. Good God forgive us. If there is a God anymore. Firing one! cities and military bases. Oh. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's the current condition. Oh. Oh. Then a nuclear strike? to BMD mode. CIC designated target. Begin shooting. Commence firing. Fire! Ten seconds until intercept. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Stand by. shot down the target Alpha. Kirishima and the USS Shiloh shot down Bravo and Charlie as well. There's one more missile left. That's dedicated for the target for Curtis Wilbur. Shit, what the hell's going on? Curtis Wilbur, this is Congo. Why are you shooting? Come in. One missile left. Where's it headed? Wait a minute. Could it be the States? Doesn't look like it. Hold on. <gasps> hey! What the hell just happened? That light! Did anybody see the light? You're the police, aren't you? What was it? It's simple.
starting today. Yes! Yes, I do! Now I remember! Oh, yes! I'm sure of it! There's no doubt! <laughs> What's the matter with her? I just remembered! I remembered my friend's phone number! You mean the one with all the guns and the Humvee? That's right! She's in the SAT! The Special Assault Team! So she must be still alive! More importantly, oh, give me the phone! Uh, okay. <laughs> now, let's see. There's the one, and there's the two, and the three and the four, yeah. All the numbers are where Do they're supposed to be. you want me to press it for you? You're going to mess me up, so don't interrupt me, okay? Looks like we can... Oh, a lot of things have happened to me, too, but... <sighs> Cut to the chase, will you? Where are you right now? My place? That place isn't good anymore. Oh, we borrowed your guns and stuff. That's okay. Just tell me where you are right now. Jesus Christ, what happened? That light. Oh, no way. Miyamoto, check the gun sight. What? But why? Just check it! Yours should be using the IC. Ah! How is it? Do you see the dot? Well, I can't see. I knew it. Takagi, what's going on? Hey, what are you doing? Hurry up! Something's wrong with the engine. What happened? The PC went dead when we lost the power. Someone please help me! I think my husband's having a heart attack! Help me! Huh? Uh, what's wrong with these goddamn brakes? Where's the emergency brake? Mr. Shido! In front of you! Trouble. His cell phone's no good. All right, let's get ready for him. <gasps> no, I'm mad. I'm leaving. Come back here. Fucking pussy. Oh, shit. H A N E. High altitude nuclear explosion. Duh. Do I have to explain everything to you people? The explosion of the nuclear warhead in the upper atmosphere creates Compton electrons. Gamma rays then sputter those trons, accelerate, and spiral along the Earth's magnetic field, generating an electromagnetic pulse. And such effect is lethal for electronic devices. That pulse can travel through anything that works as an antenna and fries its integrated circuit. So basically right now we can... Connect the dots, honey. All electronics are dead. What? So that means we can't use cell phones and stuff anymore? <gasps> Not only cell phones, but we won't be able to oh. use computers. Cars with computers won't work. The power plants will be dead, too. Unless they were implementing EMP measures. But I know only a small portion of self-defense forces and the government agencies are using such measures. Is there a way to fix it? Daddy! Some cars could work if we replace the fried parts. And we might be able to find undamaged cars which have sustained less effective electromagnetic waves. They should work if they don't have the computer chips in them. Go check right away. Yes, sir. Taya. Yeah, yes, sir? I must say I'm impressed how you stayed calm and rational in this commotion. You deserve my praise. Oh. Uh, uh, Daddy? Look, look at the barricade! <laughs> <laughs> Close the gate! Hurry up! Don't let the dead come inside! Commander, 
We still have a lot of our men on the outside of the complex. We'll lose everything if we don't close the gate now. Do it! Inside the pocket. That's one for the home team. I'm sorry, kid. I was wrong about you. Commander, madam, I brought this as you requested. What? what? Mama? Use it, Saya. That's... that's a Luger P-08 Holland Colonial model! I don't even know how to use this thing. Wait a minute, what are you even doing with a gun? Stock in the drum magazine, too! When I was working on Wall Street, I was taking the executive self-defense course. Actually, I might be a better shooter than your father. You will show her how to use it, won't you, Hirano? I meant yes, ma'am! Yes, ah! mama! Commander, our scouts have confirmed. The troops stationed at the house next door haven't been attacked yet. And I believe we can reinforce all the doors and gates. We'll rip through the enemies and head to next door. Come if you're a man and ready to battle. And as for the women and children, stay close behind, immediately, if you want to survive. Saya. Dad, why don't we just barricade ourselves in the... They broke through the Iron Gate. What's the point of trying to protect the house? Even if we barricade ourselves in the mansion, they'll still break in and kill us all. I thought you were going to help your parents. 
Were you not? Then you should be on your way. Yes, sir. Hirano. Dad! What do you mean by that? Mom! Stop acting like a child. Your father and I have work to do. Deal with it. I've left you many times during your life, and I'm sorry for that. I hope someday you'll forgive me. But this time I'm leaving you because I have to. I'm not leaving you because I want to. Mommy. Mrs. Takagi. Be a good girl. But more importantly, be a strong one. <laughs> you listen to your big brothers and big sisters, okay? Okay. Electromagnetic pulse. Uh, it's triple copper plated. The owner of this must be hardcore. So uh, you're saying that car can still drive? But it needs some repair because it's been damaged. It'll take uh, a while. Well then, looks like this is where we make a stand. Anyway, darling. Yuriko, you are a good woman. Let's go.
They're gone. I don't know if we were the best parents, but hopefully she's learned from us. She'll be all right. Well now. Then there's nothing to hold me back. Okay for now, I guess. Please don't say anything. Just don't. Takagi! What is it? Be sure to keep an eye out. Hirano! What are you... It's okay. It's okay. Hirano is... Koda is right. And I hate to bring it up, but the engine sounds strange. Yeah, I kind of think there's something wrong with the car. Can I stop driving soon? No, keep driving. I'm sorry, but Ray and I can't stop until we both find our parents. After that, we'll look for your friend too, okay? Uh, okay! There's a highway. Take it. There's so many. 